Howdy folks, little John and it's tasting day and today I'm tasting the Fat Yak clone uh, done a few weeks ago uh, we were uh, 16th for the 10th so about 6 weeks ago so this is what I'm trying to clone oh, Michelle Bay Fat Yak uh, and as I discussed on the original video it's a beer well known to any craft beer drinker pretty much any beer drinker in Australia knows what has heard of Fat Yak and plenty of us craft drinkers and home brewers have certainly drank it at some point uh, so we're getting a bit of pour on here before I get too carried away um, First of all, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the boys at the uh, World Home Brew Club. Uh, Michael, Jason, Jimmy, the other boys over there. Uh, always uh, good to get on and uh, see what other lads are doing. Uh, if you haven't been on there, been on there uh, they're on Facebook. Jump on, have a, have a bit of a look. There's lots of uh, live videos and things going on with the boys. Uh, beer and uh, cooking and other stuff, it's worth having a look at. And also uh, all the Patreons. Cheers for having you on board with Little John. If you don't know what Patreon is, click the link down below and have a look. Right, let's get into this this review. So I said, did the Fat Yak clone, um, didn't do a huge amount of research trying to nut out a recipe, um, did enough to sort of get an idea of what we're looking at um, and I thought I don't, I don't normally do a clone of particular beers, I, quite a, more, more styles like with the Pacific are um, but this was, an, it was probably closest I've ever gone to actually trying to clone a uh, commercial beer um, so Selling a beer bursting at the seams with fruity character and floral aromas. Thanks to the unique blend of hops added late in the brewing process, including our signature hop from the Yakima Valley. It's our famous original pale ale. Now, uh, the signature hop from the Yakima Valley, I'm pretty sure is going to be the Cascade. Uh, and I think over the years they've slipped some Nelson Savon into this. It's pretty well accepted that's sort of the case. Uh, I do know that, I think I discussed this on the original video, um, this was one of my first ever goes of craft beer and wasn't a bad, I didn't, wasn't a terrible drop at the time. Uh, I certainly have lost some respect for it over the years, it's definitely not, and it's actually been a while since I've had one. So, there's a bit of difference in the colour. Uh, it's a little bit, a bit more brownish in the uh, in the fat yak. It's definitely clearer. Uh, now, I didn't use any findings on on my version. No, I lie. I did add some gelatin, which is unusual, but not a, not a real lot. But it is. It's fairly clear considering it's not particularly young, um, particularly young, not particularly old. Uh, the fat yak's pork with no bloody head and next to no carbonation possibly would have helped lead nuclear added glasses but okay mine's definitely definitely fruitier The real thing that's definitely got more it's got more pride or inward no it's dirty not a lot of not a lot of fruit going on there I mean, my feeling is definitely fruitier and could well be I said there could well be a lot more um dry hop in mine than in this fella um 
originally. I mean, in fact, the act certainly when it started wasn't well before the time of um, dry hopping being the norm. So. Okay, well, straight up. The flavour is fairly similar. Um, the first up impression is definitely, like, I think, is that the, the hops, I'm on the right track with the hops. Um, there's definitely more hop going on in this fella. I'm just going to focus on this one for just for a little bit. So it's poured with a small head, and I said add a bit of nucleated glass, it would have helped. That's gone a little bit overboard, but anyway. There's a good good level of malt sitting under the hops. The mouth probably, probably like it's very it's very mid mouth. It's not dry. It's not heavy. Um, it's sort of leaning on the lighter side without be, without being sort of watery. There's definite, the Nelson is really the standout, uh, which is what I was really was pushing for and was looking looking for. Um, that was sort of the, the, the focus hop of the beer. Uh, and it's probably more dominant than The bittering up front of the dirt is more prominent than the fruit in the um, in, in the in the fat yak. I mean, there's definitely more of that later stuff, the dry hop and the late boil hop playing in my version. Now, this is where my taste buds are going to drop this beer down. Um, I've discussed it before. Uh, I'm not a fan of Nelson Savon. I've never, never tried a beer that's got Nelson in it, especially as a, if it's a significant hop in the beer, and, and really enjoyed it. Um, and again, this is sort of no exception. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't like the whiny, grapey flavour that Nelson gives you. But that being said, if you do like it, and I know a lot of brewers do, then this is working <laughs> gonna be working really well for you. It's sitting there, it's not it's not overpowering. It's a good level of flavour coming through, but it's letting the stuff below it play as well. There's still a touch of the spice from the Pride of Ringwood. Okay, it's a, bit, it's a bit better from the nucleated glass with a little bit more of that carbonation playing. 
Um, it has dropped a little bit of the the whininess, but it's got a nice balance. It's a good amount of malt. It's a hint of just light, light stone fruit like peaches. Which, um, which would be probably coming from the Amarillo, which was um, you know, late in the boil and did have a reasonably significant amount of IBU contribution. The Cascade's definitely playing its part. But yeah, just for me, the Nelson is just cutting through. That's it. If you like Nelson, I think you're going to like that. I think that beer is it's a good beer. Um, it's not for my liking. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with what that recipe has done and what it's created. It certainly hasn't cloned the fat yak. Um, I think there's definitely uh, something that needs to be found in the in the malt. Um, I used the voodoo. It possibly needs a little bit of a crank up. Needs a little bit more crystal of some kind. Um, looking at that colour, uh, which wouldn't have been not not a real hard thing to fix. And if you were looking to go the fat yak, then you'd need to be upping that initial Prada ringwood. And possibly even, maybe not so much up front. I think there is a bit more bitterness in that. Yeah, there is. Could do with a little bit more bitterness up front. Um, I don't know what the IBU was on the on the Prada Ringwood. As an individual, it doesn't come up on my it doesn't come up on my recipe sheets. Only the only the actual weights and grams a litre. Um, so it was six grams a litre. Um, so I'm thinking it probably needs to be somewhere up around maybe eight, even maybe nine gram a litre on the bittering charge to bring it up to the fat yak. Um, which would then bring in more of that dirty flavour, which is, pardon me, more dominant. Um, I'd probably drop the voodoo out altogether and replace that with some crystal malt, um, maybe even a bit of Cara Munich, mm, and possibly even drop the wheat back a little bit. Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd be probably halving halving the wheat and replacing that with some Cara Munich, um, or possibly, you know, possibly even a little bit of chocolate um, to bring it up. I'm not sure exactly what, uh, but yeah, it's just a little bit short on. The, on the malt profile, and again, was a, that was com complete guesswork. I really couldn't get any information on the grain bill. So, I, and I was going purely off memory. I said, "It's the last time I drank a fat yak. I was on a boat sailing around Umea. Um So that was, geez, that was just after the wife's cancer treatment. That's four years ago." Um, so yeah, I was really stretching to come up with memory. So that's where it needs to be needs to be tuned. So first thing, winding this all up, this beer, as it is, quite tasty, not bad at all.
Um, I do think it could do with a little bit more bitterness uh, to offset the Nelson. Or just to support that lead hops, but that would be a personal preference. Um, there is nothing wrong with that as it is. As it is, it's a good, it's, it's a good beer, and I'm, and I'm happy with it. Um, I said, just not exactly for me. Uh, so what would I, yeah, what would I do to fix it? Touch more bitterness, as I said, up that prior ring with just a little bit, or maybe even go in for something clean, just to boost that up front hit. Uh, I think the hops coming through are working. The late hop and the flavour hop is working quite nicely. There's not a big stand out of anything, but they're just giving a nice, fresh, you know, lightly fruity and winey sort of a flavour. Um, so that will work with plenty. So that, I think that would be a personal thing. I, right here, I'm not going to suggest any changes to that hop bill. Um, yeah, as I said, maybe drop the wheat by half and bring in another another crystal of some kind. Or just increase the crystal. I sort of using voodoo, maybe just even increasing that. Wouldn't hurt um, if you wanted to push more towards that fat yak. But if not, that's working fine as it is. That's quite, that's, yeah, quite tasty. So, anyway, fat yak clone. Clone? Yeah, no, definitely not. Um, Close-ish? Yeah. Um, but not there. But as, as a standalone Australian-style pale ale, no, you can't even call it Australian. It's got Emerillo, Nelson, and Cascade. Um, so it's Australian, American, New Zealand. Uh, so, it's just a basic mashed up pale ale but it's nice and it works well um, so if you want to give it a go go for it uh, so as always if you got any questions stick them down the bottom ask away any comments put them down there if you haven't subscribed to little John already hit the button down there in the corner hit the bell get notified when stuff's going on yeah we always got something brew related going on making beer, trying different beer, tasting beers, comparisons, reviews, whatever it is, it's all happening. Come along and join us. If you do brew this one, come back and let us know how you went. If you've tried to brew Fat Yak and you've had success, let us know how you've gone. But for today, that's me. I'm done. Fat Yak, all grain clone. Done, dusted moderately successfully but little John for now so go on so I'll see you again we brewing beer talking beer we drinking beer good brewing <laughs>